just say you hate women is a comment I received on one of my videos. Huh. Well, I guess I have ruined Haley's life a few too many times and she is a woman. But I don't hate women. How can I prove the commenters wrong? Oh, I got it. Time to ruin a man's life. So we balanced that a little bit. All right, guys, this, this is the redeemer. I'm proving it to myself, to my audience, that I am not a woman hater. I love women. And we're gonna do that today by ruining, drum roll. Wait one sec. Elliot's life, except he's also a psychopath. So I don't feel bad. AKA we got the Yandere Elliot mod. So let's just head down, check him out. See how he's doing. See what's up with him. He doesn't leave until like one o'clock, so there he goes. All right, here's your pomegranate. This is a beautiful gift, thank you. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot, I live in a little cabin by the beach. I've only been town for a short while, so maybe we can find some common ground. If you encounter any difficulties, please feel free to come to me, even if it's not anything particularly important, I still welcome your company. Really, it's a pleasure meeting you. Wow, he seems like a really nice guy. I'm sure nothing nothing weird is going on with him yet. Yeah, not gonna not gonna talk to anyone else. Not not interested in a single person besides my my beloved Elliot, whose life I'm not gonna ruin. Day two and time for another another visit with Elliot. Can't freaking wait. After this pomegranate, I'm gonna reach one heart, and that's when his first heart, heart cutscene is. So, I'm very 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 excited to see that. We're gonna we're gonna see where that goes. Got to wait for him to come out. Come on now. We'll grab some clams. Oh, perfect. Sorry, don't mind the clam grabbing. Although it may seem counterintuitive, you mustn't think too much when writing. A great idea may pass through your head when you least expect it, and if you overthink, you may miss it. I have to go back to work now. Would you like to meet me later at the beach? I'd love to tell you about my day. That's interesting, and it seems seems like he already wants me, like, honest to God. So one heart. So if we wait for 10 o'clock, then we can see our first heart event, which I'm very excited about. Okie dokie, 10 o'clock. Let's head on in. Oh, <laughs> Whoops, immersion's gonna be broken a little bit, but it's fine. So I'm just heading out of the mines. I'm confused. Oh, he pops out of nowhere. Gugger, it's so late. Why haven't you gone home yet? What the? I was not expecting him to be here. Like my character was not, and neither was I. <laughs> He's just coming out of the shadows. So you're off to explore the mines then? Yeah, obviously. No, I'm just hanging out in the mines, talking to the dust sprites. These mountain roads are dangerous at nights. Would you like me to take you home? Thank you, but there's no need. Why are you here? Thank you, but there's no need. Why are you here anyway? Or why are you here anyway? What about me? I heard from Willie that there are many rare fish to be caught at night, so I simply waited on the mountain. That's all. Some fish are a little tricky to catch. That's why I'm out so late. Oh, he wants something. Could it be Gugger? Do, do you think I'm stalking you? <laughs> oh my, how could I possibly do such a terrible thing? Gugger, you think too much. <laughs> Though, it's also a good thing to be so vigilant. Speaking of which, Gugger, do you know the legend of Bigfoot? I heard it's also appeared in the mountains here. It lurks in the shadows of the trees, spying on those coming and going, ready to deliver a fatal blow with his razor-sharp claws. Don't tell me those nonsense stories. Honestly, just saying that makes me feel a little frightened. But since we're here together, I know we won't encounter any monsters. Oh, he's happy. I... I'm not happy. Anyway, all I'm trying to say is that you should be more careful when you come to the mountains alone. If you ever feel the least bit afraid, simply call for me and we can walk together. Um, okay. I bid you a good night, Gugger. Sleep well. Yeah, see you, Elliot. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm feeling... That is the one heart of it, and I'm feeling a little bit a little bit spooked out. I, I don't feel too bad running this guy's life, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I am 94.6% sure that he was talking, or the fish meta- or the fish w w was a metaphor about me. And the Bigfoot was a metaphor about him. As- as the kids nowadays say, say I'm- I'm- I'm feeling- I'm feeling a little bit uncomfy, guys. Not- not gonna lie to you. <laughs> but eh, I'm sure that's not a red flag. Like he said, he was just trying to catch some fish, what's going on? You know, but still feel a little bit bad about ruining his life, but we- we gotta- we gotta do it. It's- it's ne it's- it's necessity. All right, had to sleep through that rainy day because we need a nice sunny day in order for Elliot to want to see us. Hey Elliot, no hard feelings about last night. Appreciate the company. <laughs> he doesn't know I'm gonna bur I'm gonna break his heart. I'm gonna shatter it into pieces. No, don't want to eat it. I want to give it to you. Hey Gugger, how are you doing? I don't seem I don't seem to see much of you these days. Is the farm keeping you busy? Don't push yourself too hard, okay? Remember to get plenty of rest. Thanks, Elliot. What a, what a caring guy. After this pomegranate, we'll have two hearts acquired, and we can go inside his cabin now. 
which is gonna make gifting him a lot easier. Buddy, pomegranate number, what's that? 999 minus 996. So we've given him, this is our fourth one. The advantage of writing on pen and paper is that it's more decisive. After all, it can't be revised over and over again like on a computer. You become responsible for every word you write, and this has made me less indecisive. I find this to be one of the advantages of moving here. Moreover, staying away from the internet and social media brings you closer to nature. You'll notice even the most subtle differences in the scenery from day to day. Two and a little bit of hearts. All right, at three hearts, we chill in. We can see another cutscene. I'm very excited. Speaking of the other residents, I actually rarely see Sebastian. He's a complete basement hermit. If you have a need to look for him, it's possible you'd only see him if you loiter around his house every day like Abigail. If Abigail is close with both boys, her relationship with Sebastian is much closer. She likely doesn't want anyone to interfere. After all, she's a rather obsessive girl. Why are you peering so deep into it, bruh? This guy is, 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 is a stalker. You know, it might have been a mistake to marry this guy. He's probably gonna ruin my life more than I ruin his. But we're sticking with it. Gotta, gotta prove the commenters wrong, you feel me? Another beautiful day for pomegranate gifting. Although every day that isn't raining because I can't is a beautiful day for pomegranate gifting. And in case it was not obvious, with this pomegranate gifted, we have three hearts. Very nice, another cutscene today. It's you, Gugger. It's good to see you. You just happen to be on my mind. It's not ominous, that's not scary. <laughs> I am really making a mistake marrying this guy, aren't I? He stood at the campfire for like one second and just left. That's very scary. For the next event, I'm gonna have to sleep all the way to summer 28th, go to the Moonlight Jellies Festival, and then go to the beach after, which is gonna be kind of scary. I don't know if I wanna be around that guy alone at night after everyone's partied out, but it'll go fine. Remember, I I'm the one ruining his life here. And with this day and one more, we are there. Summer 28th. All right, today's the day. We got the festival icon up in the top right. Now we just gotta wait till it starts, vibe with the jellies, and then be extremely scared and uncomfortable on the beach with Elliot. Never leave a grape behind, guys. Just remember that. It's a metaphor for life. We all know a couple of grapes, you know what I mean? Don't look too deep into that metaphor. I'm sure you could find like some way to twist that into being like problematic. I, I don't know what I meant by it, to be honest. Moonlight jellies has begun on the beach. I'm heading in. I am gonna vibe with the cutscene, cause why not? which means the rare event of turning on my music. Normally have that. What? What? What just happened? Uh, I don't know if that was intentional or if it was a bug, but I'm leaning towards a bug. Not trying to break the vibe of the video, but that felt like a bug. But I guess let's see what happens in this cutscene, eh? Oh yeah, we got a cutscene. Okay. Hey Elliot, how's it going, man? I too like standing on the beach dark at night. Huh? Me? I couldn't sleep, so I came out for a walk. Once the crowd dispersed, it suddenly became extremely quiet here, and oddly enough, I found it a little uncomfortable. Moonlight Jelly song's cooking in, what the hell? Yes, I know, it's quiet here most of the time. Very rarely is it ever so lively, so I'm unsure what's making me feel this way. Tonight is the last night of summer. I, I wonder if those moonlight jellyfish feel lonely when they swim out to distant waters, leaving the glow of the candlelit boat behind. I'm not sure, I'm, I'm, I'm pondering too. Sorry, Gugger, I shouldn't say such things. I suppose I'm just feeling a bit emotional tonight. It's already late, Gugger. Why don't I take you back home? Mm, we're gonna do the sketchy one. Can't I stay? Hey, what did you say? No, well, I'm not saying you can't, but just there's not that much space in the room for the both of us, you know? Dot, dot, dot. He's pondering, he's pondering for real. Look at that pondering face. Gugger, do you really want to stay? I'm thinking again. I do. I do want to stay. Actually, I have an idea. What is he doing? Let's sit on the beach together and enjoy the last starry sky of the summer. I'm glad you're here, Gugger. I was expecting to spend the last summer night alone like I always have, but instead, you. Actually, Gugger, there, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Gugger, are you still awake? I fell asleep before he could tell me. Oh my god, six dots. He's really pondering. We'll never know what he wanted to say. Good night, Gugger. Sweet dreams. And I love you. What? 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 He dropped the I love you on the on the three heart cutscene. God damn. Okay, I'm just gonna let Smell of Mushrooms play out. Oh, and he's here already. You're awake. Good morning, Gugger. Ah, uh, I suppose you don't remember much. 
Last night, since you fell asleep while we were stargazing, I just brought you back home. I was worried you might catch a cold, so I thought I'd stick around a while. I hope you don't mind. What? Double what? Oh, don't worry. I didn't stay in your house without permission. Although it's already autumn, it's rather warm. The morning breeze is also quite nice. Anyway, I'll head out back now. Anyway, I'll head back now. Have a nice day, Gugger. I will, I think. These cutscenes seem so wholesome, but, but at the same time, they're just kind of rubbing me the wrong way. I feel like I'm the one getting played, not playing him. This just meant to be a fling, a prank, a troll. Playing with this, this poor, this poor collection of lines of code's heart. Buried deep within its, its programming. Just to appease a sick YouTube commenter. Alright, we can't listen to this for too long. Oh, this song is too- No, I, I can, I can. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it on, we'll leave it on for now. I'll turn it off before I go to sleep, how about that? Oh, never mind, it's just turned off. Guess we're turning it off now. All right, I'm good enough friends with him to enter now. Oh, it's locked. It's still too early. Gotta wait until a little bit later. Let's see if he's awake at nine o'clock. Still no more. Okay, that's fine. At 10 o'clock, he's good. Oh, cutscene. I think this is a too hard cutscene. Gugger, come in. Welcome to my humble, well, shack. This is my writing desk. It's where I spend most of my time. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be a writer. Have I told you that? That's why I live out here by myself. I figured a lonely life by the sea would help me focus on my literary aspirations. Everyone back home said I was nuts, that I could never make it as a writer. Can you believe it? They said for every successful author, there's thousands who fail miserably. Such pessimism, it's sickening. I can see it in your eyes. You believe in me, Gugger. You've got that spark. Now that's inspiring. That's what I'm looking for. A question. What kind of book do you like, Gugger? We're gonna do a romance. Ah, one of the classic genres. I'll remember that. Well, enough talk about me. <gasps> hmm, you probably know a lot about plants, don't you? Would you mind taking a look at this rose here? I'm afraid it's not doing so well. Don't mind if I do, I'll take care of it. Here you go, buddy. Oh, hello, Gugger. Are you sleepy? I've got some coffee for you. What the coffee already? He is jumping the gun. You normally don't get this stuff till like 10 hearts, man. Holy smokes. Maybe I'm making a mistake divorcing this guy. And that puts us at four hearts. So two more gifts and we will be chilling. Got another cutscene cooking, hopefully. You know, I, I, I might, be making a, might be making a mistake ruining this guy's life. Maybe I should have ruined someone else's life. Shane, maybe? Sam? Someone like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna treasure this coffee until I divorce him. Then I will drink it out of hatred. I'll drink it and then sprint over to Lucy's office and divorce. Hello. Hey, Elliot. How's it going, man? Lately, I found myself having some trouble falling asleep. Maybe it's due to writer's block? I'm not really sure. Oh, but thinking of you makes me feel a lot better. Uh, okay. Whatever you say, man. And if we wait another another two hours, so it's 12 p.m. and I enter, I should get the fifth heart cutscene. All right, 12 o'clock. Let's go. Nope, never mind. He's got to be there. Okay. Mm, didn't trigger again. What the? Oh, here's the problem. We decayed. There we go. Have another pomegranate. Let's try now. Oh, here we go. Yep. Oh, he's sleeping. Don't leave me alone. I won't. I can't. Uh, what is going on with this guy? What? Da 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 da. Gugger? Why? No, oh, he's sad. He's crying. I'm sorry, Gugger. Y you weren't supposed to see me like this. I. I've actually been suffering from insomnia at night, so I had to try to take a nap during the day and... Well, you saw the result, didn't you? I've been having nightmares recently, and I just can't sleep at all. For the longest time, I couldn't understand why this was happening to me, and by the time I finally realized the cause, I'd already suffered countless sleepless nights. No, truthfully, I believe I know exactly why in my heart. There was just nothing I could do about it. Would you mind leaving first, Gugger? I think I just need a little time alone. But I want to stay with you. Let's do the, the simp one. Is... That's so? We gotta we got play him up so he's really into me and then I leave. In that case, can I ask you something? Yeah, yeah, I'm down, man. Ask me whatever you- Whoa, okay, he's a step closer. I'd like to cuddle you, Gugger. Is that okay? What the? It'll only be a moment. Please. Uh, okay. Come, Gugger. I haven't had a good night's sleep in days. Have a little pity on me, okay? Um... <laughs> Oh, I'm doing it. Uh, okay. Uh. Gugger. You're really warm. Don't leave my side until I fall asleep, okay? That was very fast. Get me out of here, bro. I didn't. I shouldn't have chosen that option, bro. What am I doing? Elliot fell asleep. If it means he can finally rest peacefully, maybe it wouldn't hurt to stay a while. 
No, I, I'll sleep fine. I can leave. Yeah, okay. Cugger, I slept well with you by my side. Stay with me a little longer next time, okay? Uh, okay, man. I made a mistake, dude. I should have ruined someone else's life, goddamn. All right, the next one's at seven hearts. If you haven't figured out, it's alternating instead of two, four, six, eight, ten. It's one, three, five, seven, nine, you know. Oh, cool. He added some mushrooms to his door. I just noticed. Very nice. Oh, we got a six star cutscene. Nice. And my music is still turned off, so we can't hear it. All right, I'm, I'm advancing. Ah, I thought someone was there. That was wonderful. How long have you been playing? How long have you been playing? Oh, I'm not sure. I've been dabbling in piano since I was a kid. I'm not very good, but it's fun. I've been working day and night to try and finish my book. It's been driving me insane, Gugger. An occasional tune is the only recreation I allow myself. Isn't this dude at the bar like every other night? No, hey, just like, keep it a buck, bro. Be honest with yourself. There's just too much work to do, and my bank account's starting to run dry as well. Sometimes I wish I could just throw it all away and become a farmer like you. Come live on the farm, I can use the extra help. What? Seriously? Sounds wonderful, but I can't give up on my novel. It's already halfway done. Sigh. Sorry I'm complaining like this. I just need someone to talk to now and then. Hey man, just take a couple of pomegranates. Gugger, would you like to enjoy the autumn view with me? With you here, the scenery has become all the more beautiful. I gotta go. I'm busy. Sorry, man. Very busy. Very, 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 very busy. Oh, and that's seven hearts. So I think if I leave the farmhouse tomorrow, that should be an event. If I, if I understand correctly. Oh, wait, he's here doing something. Hello, Gugger. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? It reminds me of when we first met. Simply thinking about it made me want to see you so badly all of a sudden. Well, I must admit, it wasn't just on a whim that I wanted to meet you here. I've actually been wanting to tell you this for a long time. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Despite having prepared for this moment, I'm still feeling a little nervous. Uh, what has he been preparing? Once you meet the person who's going to change your life, you simply know it right away. And for me, you are that special person. I love you, Gugger. Um, uh, I have had zero reaction. You can't imagine how much I really love you. Every second I'm with you, I'm restraining myself, and I don't want my feelings to scare you. But now, I just can't hold back any longer. I can't imagine... I can't imagine you with anyone else. Whenever I see you smiling at other people, it pains me. I want you to reserve that heavenly smile for only me. I want you to stay by my side. If you want me to do something, anything at all, I will do it for you without question. Um, I want you to be mine alone. Cugger, will you be my boyfriend? This is sudden, uh, Elliot, no, this is sudden, I'll have to think about it. That's a new dot record, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten dots. Ah, that's all right. I shouldn't have been so hasty. I'll happily wait for you to think it through, Gugger. Yeah, I'm sure he'd take a note very well. <laughs> very, very well, I'm sure. <laughs> all right, well, I guess, guess I've, I've thought it through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get a bouquet. A couple of pomegranates today should do me all the way up to nine hearts. I think with this pomegranate today, I will be up to eight hearts and uh, I can start dating him. I mean, you know, he, he, only, he only jumped the gun wanting to date like t one heart. That's not that bad, you know? Here you go. Happy bur- what? I had a feeling you'd bring me something wonderful. This is fantastic. Were you looking for me specifically, Gugger? I'm so happy to see you. Thank you for being with me on such a special day. No problem, man. Did, did I do it was your birthday? In case you're wondering, I definitely did. Because if it's his birthday, we were at eight hearts. We're there. We made it. We pulled up. Hello, Pierre. I'd like uh, one of your finest bouquets, if you don't mind. Got it for a very special someone. <laughs> wonder how Pierre feels about facilitating me ruining another dude's life. I don't know. Hey man, I got good news for you. I'm fe Oh man. Where'd he go? I've never had to find him outside the house. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scan, I'm gonna search. Search for my love, definitely, who I'm not gonna divorce as soon as I possibly can. Where did this man go? What the hell? He's not here. Might have to sleep. I can't find him. No way. I wanted to ruin his life as fast as I possibly could. Oh well. Looks like we're sleeping. I couldn't find him. I'm going to bed at defeat. I decided. Dot dot dot. Gugger, are you serious? <laughs> I I fantasized about this incessantly ever since we first met. Thank you for giving me this chance. It's starting to get a little colder, isn't it? 
Don't let yourself catch a cold, Gugger. You must take care of yourself. If you get sick, I'd have to take care of you. I just can't help it. Okay, well, cool, 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 cool. <sighs> We're approaching the end for Elliot, unfortunately. He's not gonna be having a super happy, super happy time. Well, no, I, no, I, he, he's got, what's that? We got the 14 hearts. We got another like seven hearts of happiness for him to go. Hey man, how's it going? A walk in the autumn forest never fails to inspire me. Though I always think if I could only hold your hand as we walk together. <laughs> yeah, man, that'd be pretty romantic. <laughs> okay, see you later, man. <laughs> Bye, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, long, a long day's work. Just gonna enter my farmhouse. Nothing's gonna be going. Oh, ah, uh, long day of work, waiting around for the cutscene. Just gonna, just gonna enter at 8 p.m. There will nothing be going on here, I'm sure. Nothing. <laughs> Thing. How is the scary lightning strike? It's fine though. I'm here. I'm chilling. We're good. Oh. Hey, Elliot, how's it going, man? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. That smile is getting creepier and creepier. Hello, Gugger. Oh, I'm mad. I'm big mad. I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to. I, I, what is happening, dude? I, I, I don't know why I'm just standing here. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll just, it's raining hard outside, do you want to stay? We'll, we'll be nice. Ta 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 ta. Really? I, no, it, it's, it's best if I leave. I, I'm sorry. No, no, you can stay, Elliot. You know, you can have a few happy moments for your life is big sad. Thank you, Gugger. I'm just... I'm just... What's the matter? What's the matter, Elliot? Tell me. I'm sorry. I, I know you must have been surprised to see me show up all of a sudden. I just m miss you so much. I miss you so much, Gugger. Dude, this guy is definitely crazier than me. Holy... I thought I was the crazy one ruining this guy's life. I messed up. Can I... Can I just... Hold you? Yeah, man. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll just walk through my... Okay. Yeah, cool. Nice. Don't mind me. <laughs> That's crazy. Gugger. Okay, let's just... Let's go back to the serious. The immersiveness. Gugger, I missed you so much. I had a nightmare that you left me. When I woke up, I couldn't tell what was reality or a dream. I, I just knew I had to find you. Yeah, that nightmare is not gonna be real. <laughs> it's all good, man. You're really warm. Only when I hold you do I feel that you and this world are real. Promise you'll never leave me, okay? <laughs> yeah, man, I'll never leave you. Don't worry about it, okay? All right, time to marry this normal, insane guy and have a nice, happy marriage. Got the bouquet. Except it's a seashell and not actually a bouquet. Hey, man, I got good news. Gugger, this is... I'm sorry. You know I love you, but I simply can't accept that. This guy said no. When he said he could literally never leave with it. Okay, dude, I'll, I'll go upgrade my house. Okay, man, I'm not hurt. Oh, the 10 heart scene, nice. Look, I fixed up the old robot that's been sitting by my house. Pretty nice, huh? Gugger, would you do me the honor of joining me for her maiden voyage? Yes, I will. I will get in the book. Seems like a good idea. So my book's been out for a while now. It's not a bestseller or anything, but it's getting some good reviews from the critics. And I really couldn't have finished it without your moral support. Thank you, Ellie. I'm glad that I'm so important to you. Uh oh, okay, never mind. Actually, that's not true at all. I would have finished it either way. But I'm grateful that you believed in me. In my vision. And, well... Um... Gugger, how do I say this? This cutscene feels a little bit out of whack because, uh, he's obsessive in other ones. Yeah, yeah, okay, you know what? You're gonna kiss me. Yeah, 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 yeah. The man who said he'd never leave me no matter what, and if I ever broke up with him, it would be freaking over, quote, he said. Will not marry me, because my house is not big enough. Thinking this LA guy might be a gold digger, and hey, I, I know I'm like marrying him to divorce him and break his heart, but you know, it still stings a little bit. Hey man, nice to meet you guys. Upgrade my house and leave me alone, please. Bless up. Here for one reason, life ruining and I'm out. Couple of sleeping time so we can marry. Alrighty, we got the, we got the crib upgraded. Maybe Elliot's down with it now. We will see. How about now? <gasps> of course, I accept. I've been waiting for you to give this to me, darling. I knew you would. I can't wait to live with you. Absolutely no one will get in our way anymore. In three days, everyone will know that you're mine. I love you, Gugger. I will stop at nothing to make you happy. The farm will be such a lovely place to write. I'm really looking forward to this. We're gonna make a great pair. Okay, we'll see you later.
Time to get married. And uh, while, while this is happening, I got I got to do a couple of other things to make a to make a certain cutscene happen. So uh, excuse me. I got to give a bouquet to every bachelor. I forgot that she hated these. That's one of them. Yeah, we're a couple now. Couple of besties. Not dating though, just just friends. Don't worry. I didn't think you felt this way for me. I guess we're a couple now. Heard that before. God. Everyone's so unoriginal. Give me, give me a creative lot. Maybe you'll be my favorite partner. Right now, you guys aren't even top three. I'm not watching my cutscenes. Sam's close. We'll do him next. He's jamming out. We'll see if I can give him a bouquet. It might interrupt his animation. Are those for me? I feel the same. Let's take it to the next level. So true. Leah's the next logical step. Here you go. I didn't think you felt this way for me. Guess we're a couple now. Not even in the top three for most interesting things said to me after I started dating you. Who should we do next? Oh, Penny's sitting right there. Okay, that makes sense. We'll do her. Not like that though. Not not uh, not doing is not the right word. We'll, we'll we'll start dating her. Are those for me? I feel the same. Let's take it to the next level. I for some reason it's weird that Sam and her are the one to say that. I feel like she'd be like, let us. I got nothing. I was gonna. I was. I was trying to think of something. Anyways, Alex, we're dating now. Cool. Okay, so we gotta go here for Maru and Sebastian. They don't talk, so they won't even know we're dating. We'll, we'll, we're clear in that department at least. Oh, he's running away from me. Don't worry, you'll run to me soon. Just for a little bit. Goes for me. Let's see the next level. Blah blah blah. Maru's right here, leveling it up as usual. And I think Shane should be working. Then we just gotta find Abigail. I'm not sure where she'd be. Maybe in general store? Probably. I don't think she leaves her house very late. I don't think she leaves her house very early, so she's probably somewhere around there. Hey Shane, you clocked in. I got good news for you. That's hopefully gonna make your shift better. Nope, not here. Where would he be? Probably the saloon, I guess. Unfortunately, that is that is most likely the location for a guy like him. Oh, I didn't see him, but I saw her. Uh, her. Abigail out of the corner of my eye. So we just gotta find Shane now. Here you go. Guess we're a couple now, yep. Maybe he's still at home, I guess. It's Sunday, so maybe he doesn't leave until later. Oh, he is actually, no way. Here ya go. And with that, we got all 12 people dating me. Now I gotta be kind of careful to not mess this up, but I'm also pretty sure if I cheat in a rabbit's foot to my inventory, that prevents me from getting some cutscene. But anyways, let's view the marriage. It's definitely not gonna be awkward with literally over, no, not quite over, almost half the town knowing we're dating, but Here's the marriage cussing, guys. <laughs> Everyone watching them being like, wait, what? He's getting married. I thought we were dating. <laughs> they all love me too much to ask too many questions, hopefully. All right, so Elliot just needs a little bit more coaxing. Just tuck that sculpture away before Elliot sees it. Give him one more pomegranate to get up to 11 hearts. And then we head over to the bar for a cutscene. Spent 20 minutes troubleshooting why the uh, the event wasn't working. It's because I forgot about Harvey. Sorry, Harvey. You're just that forgettable, I guess. <laughs> What's your trigger now? Oh, yeah. Here we go. I'm walking in. Oh, I did not expect to see all of my boys. Oh, they simultaneously turn, except Shane, who does not give a freak. He's drinking still. What's the matter, darling? Didn't you come here for a drink? Um, 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 I'm pretty, I'm, I, I shouldn't, I, I got work to <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know, I, I've got some, okay. Hi, man. Gugger, you're trembling. Are you okay? You're not sick, are you? Do you want to see Dr. Harvey? It just so happens that he's here too. Does he know? Do they know? Da, 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 da. <laughs> just kidding. It'd be fine if you were sick. You'd never be able to leave me that way. Does he know? Uh, everyone is confused. Except me, I know exactly what's going on. Gugger, you're not trying to run away, are you? Did you promise to stay with me forever? Why are you acting so skittish? Don't you want these people to see that you're mine? Oh, they're big mad, except Shane still does not give a hell. Hey, Elliot, knock it off. Oh, Elliot's not like that. What? And who are you to stop me? Come, Gugger. Kiss me. Uh, no, I'm not really like, I'm a private guy. Or do you want me to take the initiative? If so, then I can't guarantee it'll end at just a simple kiss. What did this guy just say to me? What the hell did you just say? Excuse me? Shh. Don't be afraid. You're doing great. Now, let's go home, shall we? Uh, everyone here is confused. Honestly, I, I said at the start I wasn't confused, but uh, I'm, I'm now confused. Does he know? No, I'm not angry. I've always wanted to do this. You're going to be with me forever, Gugger. Yeah, man. The whole point of me marrying you definitely... Definitely wasn't to, uh... Definitely wasn't to, uh, um... Definitely wasn't to um divorce you man hey honey just gonna sleep 
Save the day. Okie dokie, at 13 hearts with him. If I enter the farm, we're chatting up, we're going. Darling, I have some bad news. What? Huh. What's happening? I got the results of your physical from Dr. Harvey. They're not good. I think you'll have to rest here on the farm for a while. What? I feel fine. I know, I know. I'm not happy about it either. But there's nothing more important than the body, is there? I mean, I, I guess. Oh, and don't worry. I'll order the seeds you need from Pierre. Harvey advised you to continue some of your usual work. It's good for your health. He is capping, bro. I understand this news is hard for you to bear, Gugger. But for your health's sake, just try to endure for a while. I promise I'll take good care of you. What do you want to do? I'm, all, I'm not going to call him out. What do I want to do? Well, naturally, I just want to take care of you. I'll take care of you until you're better again. All I'm asking is that you stay home for a while, darling. Promise me you'll get some rest, okay? Okay. They're going to let me leave? What happens if I... Oh, I'm heading out. I'm just chilling, but... Oh, um, I'm a little sketched out that Elliot's gonna see me. Oh, he just spawned in. Gugger, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Nowhere, just, just want a little walking, you know, a little bit of a change of pace. <laughs> Didn't I tell you that you needed to stay here with me? Why are you trying to leave? Is there something you're not happy with? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'll go back, it's fine. Come, let's go home. And don't think about leaving me anymore. Okay, man. I'll stay home. It's all good. Promise me not to run off again, okay? You don't need to see anyone beside me. Once again, thought I was the crazy person in this relationship. Just marrying him to divorce him. I was very wrong. This guy is definitely crazier than me, okay? Okay, man. I've just, I've, I've been on the farm. I've just been farming. You know how it goes. And we're finally 14 hearts. Nice. So if I just empty, uh... Oh, he wants to talk. Hey, man. How's it going, Elliot? I've been enjoying my farm. Welcome home, Gugger. Let's go to bed early tonight, okay? There's something I want to tell you. Huh? What could you po what could you possibly want to tell me? Shall we? It is 8 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Whatever you say, boss. What I've been meaning to say is... I'm sorry. You sorry? Of course you're not sick. It's all a lie I made up. Well, yeah, dude. You gotta be a dumbass or not. Since that last incident, I just... I lost myself to rage. Thinking of you and all those people, I... I... I, I know I'm a petty man, and that kind of shoddy lie would never be able to fool you. All I want is to be with you, even if for only a second longer. I want to be with you forever, Gugger. I want you to be mine, all mine, and there's very little I won't do in order to achieve that. This time with you has been like a dream, a dream that I never want to wake up from. But I know full well that we can't go on like this. People are likely getting suspicious by now. Please don't be mad at me, Gugger. I just... I love you too much. Starting tomorrow, I won't keep you here anymore. Compared to seeing you so unhappy, I'd rather... He was going to say I'd rather lose you, but he, he cannot. From now on, I need you to keep your distance from those people. Thorn me all you want, just just don't leave me. Now get some rest, my dear. Sweet dreams. Okie dokie, by the amount of gold I have in my name, I think you guys know exactly what's going on. Time to ruin this guy's life for real. You know, I think it was the right selection for a target to ruin, because like... He likes me. He, he, he likes me a lot. He is going to be devastated. So let's go Let's go tell Marilis the good news. And he, he's probably surprised to see me, to be honest. Open at 8 o'clock. 8.30, my bad. I'm filing. Let's go, uh, let's go home and talk to him for the, surely the last time. Surely he doesn't have a divorce event. Surely. Hey, dear. Uh, <laughs> oh, a star job. Thanks. Although I've said it countless times already, I'm willing to continue saying it forever. I love you, Gugger. You simply cannot imagine how much I love you. Even I can't describe it accurately myself. This is a gift for you. I hope it can protect you even if I'm not by your side. A mixed seed? What do you give me? Not that I'd let you out of my sight in the first place, of course. If you want really to dislike you, give him red mushroom. He hates us over the pet. Okay, a little bit of a change of pace, but cool. Alright, I'm divorcing him. <laughs> He's gonna be a happy guy, I'm sure. Ah, uh, finally free. <laughs> okay. Good morning, Gugger. I haven't been up long. I simply came by to check the mailbox. Then I saw this notice from the mayor. Honestly, I couldn't believe my eyes. I read it over again several times start to finish, only to realize I truly hadn't misread it. Gugger, do you really hate me that much? Do you really hate me to the point of never wanting to see me again? That's one dot below the dot record. Gugger, tell me. Tell me you're serious. Is it something I did wrong, or, 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 or is there someone else? You can act as though I don't exist. You can go meet people behind my back. It's okay. It doesn't matter what it is. I, I can bear it. 
Just, just anything but this. Why are you doing this to me? I love you. I love you more than anyone else. You know that, don't you? So why? Answer me. Don't you love me? Why are you leaving me? I don't give a damn about the notice. I just want to hear you tell me yourself. Oh, I'm mad. He's confused. I... I understand. I'm so sorry, Gugger. I... I won't bother you again. That is cap. That is... That... Can we take massive lies for 500? Thank you, Alex. No way this guy's mailing me literal paragraphs. Oh my god. All right, here we go, guys. <clears throat> Love, Elliot. What the? I'm going down to the beach. What is going on with this guy? Surely that letter is not how I'm interpreting it. Is the truth? Surely not. Well, uh, I, I gotta find out. You know, I, I'm ruining this guy's life, but like, not to the extent I... Uh, that's not even... I didn't even do this to Haley. Okay, fishing rod, cool. This is the one I... Wait, okay. Hey, Elliot. The ocean is so beautiful, isn't it? I was wondering when you'd come. <sighs> I've awaited this day for a long time. Remember the last time we were out at sea? I spent a long time thinking about it after finishing my novel. Thinking about whether or not to go see you. I'd always known things wouldn't end well between us. And deep now, I just knew that I'd never seen the day I'd grow old. As it turns out, not only the successful, but even the unfortunate like me are afraid of death. Dude. Dude, <laughs> don't worry, I'm not gonna die. I'll live until I wake up one day and become a sea turtle or something. You know, I've loved rainy days ever since I was a kid. Through the window, I could see the hazy world outside. The only thing connecting me to it being the raindrops on the glass. At the time, I always felt so distant, as if I was trapped in another world. A world with no rain and no people. A world where everything had long since disappeared. I've always been afraid. Afraid of the world, and even more afraid of being alone. Gugger, uh, I need you to know something. I didn't make this decision just because of you. So don't feel sad, okay? In fact, I've been looking forward to this moment long before I met you. What? What? Why is he smiling? What is this guy talking about, dude? Hey, Gugger, do you think I'll see a crimson fish in the sea? He, he, he did not. There is no way.